Um, and now without further ado, I wanted to introduce, it is my pleasure to introduce Jean Marie Kevens, who is a tireless supporter and promoter of new and emerging voices in puppetry. Um, and her company, Little Shadow Productions, cons consistently uplifts female artists. She serves as the Associate Artistic Director of the National Puppetry Conference at the O'Neill Theater Center. Jean Marie will now provide our opening remarks. Thank you so much, Jean Marie. Glad to have you here. Thank you, Tanya. It's a really lovely introduction. Um, it's so wonderful to see all of your faces. It makes me want to cry a little bit not to be with you in person. But um, I wanted to just take a moment to talk a little bit about women in puppetry. Um, it's interesting for me to think about women in puppetry because one of the great possibilities of being a puppet artist is the opportunity to move between species, sexes, races, etc. Uh, one can inhabit as many bodies as they like in their work. They can shapeshift. It's pretty awesome and everyone here knows this. One reason that I love puppetry is because my stage fright uh, can be crippling at times. So the ability to use object as a form of communication is something that I cherish very deeply. But I also cherish the ability to do this as a woman because women have always been shape-shifting. We become who we need to be in order to survive. We learn how to grow and make and change in order to thrive. If this is the case, then women in puppetry must strive hard to be heard always, full stop. While we are trained to hide our bodies in most performances, that in no way means that we need to hide our strength, our resolve, or our ingenuity. When I think of the brilliance of Lottie Reiniger, I think of Linda Windgirder today. When I think of Theodora Skipateris, I think of Kaylee Therian today. When I think of Jane Henson, I think of Pam Arciero and Liz Hara. When I think of Sherry Lewis, I think of Leslie Carrera Rudolph. When I think of Carol Sterling, who I dream to become one day, I think of Renata Townsend. When I think of Jan Joan Gancuz Cooney, I think of Kay Wilson Stalling, and so on and so on. These women are badasses. We are badasses. The world of American puppetry continues to strive to overcome its diversity issues, but make no mistake about it, there is no woman issue here in puppetry. There is no woman issue and no issue that women can't handle. We are smart, strategic, thoughtful, sexy, brave, charismatic. We make life. We are the stewards of our communities. Every day I think of the shoulders that I stand on and next to from writers, producers, builders, performers, and so on. And I wonder how broad and how steeled I can make my shoulders. Each of us stepping stone for the next woman to take a bit of space to tell a much larger story. May we all find the ways to use our gifts for activism and joy as our dear friend Bernice did. May we find ways to extend a hand to bring the next person, man, woman, or it's none of your damn business into our beautiful community. I hope that we shape shift together and tonight we raise every special woman, every woman, in honor of a very special woman whose life raised each of us while she was here. Big love to Bernice. Thank you to, to Tanya, Bruce, and everyone at Pagogni for continuing to learn, to grow, and to make space for change. And ladies, I hope that we continue to learn to hold each other up. And when you're down, shoot me a text, I'll get your back. Thank you for having me here tonight. And I feel so grateful to be part of this community. Beautiful. So well spoken. So well said. Thank you so much, Jean Marie. That really beautifully put and really speaks to part of what we're here to do this evening. 